Hey, Nasa, konnichiwa. Greetings, everyone. I'm Joe, part of Joyo, America, Indonesia, and I'd like to welcome you to our brand new series, Cry Out. It is a Christian series, however, we want it to be a bit more like first century church and less like modern day church. A time period where there was no denomination to confuse or all sorts of weird traditions to follow. To give some background, I have been involved in healing room ministries for over 10 years. I've seen a lot of testimonies, a lot of miracles, a lot of things which many people could not explain. If you've never been to a healing room, I definitely recommend it, although not every healing room is the same. Generally what a healing room is, it's a group of people that gather from all sorts of walks of life, to churches, denominations, you name it. They all come together with a simple goal and with a simple mindset. It's like to see people heal, to see people set free of whatever is binding them in their life. And it's to show that Jesus is alive and active today, just as he was 2,000 years ago. I'm not a pastor, but then it doesn't take a pastor to show testimonies. And my life has been filled with quite a few. And over the course of these episodes, I'm going to be sharing a whole lot of them with you, along with interviewing others and just seeing all that what God has done. Hopefully, you will come to realize, as I have, that this Christian walk is not a spectator sport. If you are a believer, great. I welcome you. Hopefully some of these testimonies encourage you. If you're not a believer, that's okay. I welcome you to stay and hopefully you're encouraged. Uh, if not, then I recommend cat videos right now. They're awesome. Hey, I pose this question for you. Why is it important that we share testimonies? That we exhort each other? And why do we do it? Romans 10, 17 says that faith comes by hearing and hearing through the good news of Jesus Christ. Testimonies are both the simplest and one of the most powerful means of spreading the gospel. It takes no training or experience to do it. Pastors can exhort from years and years of Bible college and they can still not have the same impact as a single testimony that is shared in the right moment to even just a regular stranger on the street. You do not have to be a Christian to have a testimony. If you go to Mark 5 in your Bible, you'll see about the gathering man whom Jesus healed of all the demons. He wanted to follow the Lord, to go after him. He wanted to follow Jesus. I mean, who wouldn't? He just got healed, just got saved of all these little nasty things that were in you. And he wants to follow. And Jesus says, no. He said, go into all the cities of your hometown. Go back home and share what the Lord has done to you. And he sent him to a place called the Decapolis. Now, the Decapolis literally means ten cities. It was ten cities. So literally, Jesus said, okay, here's this guy that was demon-possessed, that was crazy, that was running around naked, breaking chains, and he just sent one guy who got delivered and healed back home to spread the word among every one of those cities that he called home. I think about that. You're going to ten cities, a guy that is not even a Christian yet. Go, go to ten cities and just share what the Lord has done. Amazing, isn't it? And it amazed everyone there. And it no doubt prepared the way for future ministry to come just because one man went. This is one of the most powerful reasons of why the, the news of the gospel spread so well early on. It wasn't confined or limited to the elite of the day. In fact, the elite were very much against Jesus because he was <laughs> messing up their plans <laughs> to a certain extent. But it was everyday folk, just like you and me. So let's get started and cry out. Before the rocks and the stones cry out, as Jesus spoke about so, so long ago. At times we're going to be going on location, or we're going to be meeting with others who have great testimonies to share, or who have a word to share. Uh, it is my goal that all these get told and that many may hear and be blessed by them. 
I hope you will join us for, for this journey. Welcome for the ride. Itakimasu! Thank you for watching. Be sure to click like, subscribe, comment, share some testimonies if you like, and have a wonderful day. Johnny.